violent crime seems like it's becoming a huge issue, right? But but is it really? I mean, actually, you, you watch the news now and, you know, violent crime, you know, there's this crime wave, you know, and that's what they always say right before then is followed up with the, and that's why we've got to take the guns away. But as of 2021, the national violent crime rate is around 400 incidents per 100,000. Now, we're talking about just violent crime now. We're not talking about, okay, murder's in that because right. that's a violent crime. But, you know, so is rape, assault, you know, all that kind of stuff. Any, anything def defined as a violent crime is put into this bucket. So the national violent crime rate is right around 400 incidents per 100,000 people. Now, that might sound like a lot. And we hear about crime all the time. But here's the reality. The overall national crime rate has been on an overall downward trend, you mentioned that just a little bit ago, since the 1990s. And uh, let me pull up. This, but if it's uh, going down, Craig, they can't utilize it to inflict fear and get people to vote true, the way they want to. True. Right? It's hard to really instill fear when you're telling, you know, tell everyone that, oh, things are getting better. You know, that's, that's kind of the wrong message. Yep. So let me bring this picture up here. Uh, this is the actual overall violent crime rate. And uh, as you can see, uh, in fact, it hit its peak around 1992 at a rate of 758 crimes per 100,000 people. It's been trending downward since then, hitting a low number in 2014 with an average of 361 per 100,000 people. And then since 2014, it has risen slightly, going up and down around the 400 per 100,000 rate, with the rate being 395.7 cases per 100,000 in 2021. And uh, this is where I thought it might be more upbeat because overall the crime rate's been dropping and we're at, you know, we're not at the lowest point, but we're not that much higher. So we're, it seems to be at a good point. Okay. Um, but if that's the case, why does it seem like there's, we're living in a virtual crime wave? Well, while nationally crime rates have been falling for over three decades, the violent crime rate in urban areas has been increasing. And in the past couple of years, it has really surged. So a recent study performed uh, by the Bureau of Justice Statistics, the statistical arm of the Department of Justice, so, so this, this is, is government, your, this is government, conducted a crime survey, the National Crime Victimization Survey, or the NCVS. You got to use your acronyms for everything. Of course, alphabet. Yep. According to the NCVS, violent crime in urban areas rose 29 percent from 2020 to 2021. From 19 to 24.5 victimizations per 1,000 persons. From 2018 through 2020, the NCVS found the violent crime rate in urban areas was between 29% and 42% higher than the rural rate in rural areas in October of 2022. So, to put that in perspective, so we're talking, you know, currently the national crime rate, around 400 per 100,000. So, the urban crime rate in 2020's rate of 19 per 1,000 would be 1,900 Wow. Crimes per 100,000. Wow. Which rose to 2,450 per 100,000 in 2021. The national crime rate is being driven by the crime in those urban areas. It's because to have a national rate that hasn't really gone up, that means in the rural areas, crime is still falling. But in those urban areas, it's skyrocketing. Is it safe to say there's more uh, of those uh, do not carry guns stickers in the, in the oh, urban areas? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those urban areas, all the gun-free zones, that's where they're at. Uh, the crime is being monitored and, and reported by the media in ever more in present forms, and the reality is that this confirms the widespread perceptions, and the nation's largest crime survey finds that violent crime in urban areas rose dramatically from 2020 to 2021. Okay, so, uh, they've been doing these studies, you know, all, dating all the way back to the Nixon administration as far as the, the violent crime surveys and stuff. So, you know, this isn't anything new. It's just they've noticed this, this urban area. So, it involves, you know, uh, just studies and stuff done at a national level. Um, let's see. According to the NCVS, violent crime in urban areas rose 29% from 2020 to 2021. And uh, let's see, this is a little bit of a rehash. Um, let's see. Uh, this urban kind of, area. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, this kind of uh, underpins one of the things, uh, a couple of the things we've done the last couple of weeks with showing the 20, 20 cities with the crime rates yes. and uh, and how they're governed and what kind of laws they have in place. But go ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it, exactly. Um, the, the violent crime rate in urban areas 
was 121% higher, more than doubling the rate in rural areas. And uh, so the, the violent crime rate in urban areas is 48% 48, 48 higher in 2021 than in suburban areas. So when we're talking urban areas, we mean urban, densely populated. Right. So we're not talking the suburbs. So when you're talking about like, um, you know, in Illinois and the Chicago area, you know, it covers this huge area. We're talking about the true downtown, right, right. you know, area. Um, the property crime rate in urban areas was nearly twice as high in 2021 as in suburban areas and nearly three times as high as in rural areas. Uh, these statistics do not really include murder because uh, these are surveys that are actually done to victims. And of course, murder victims aren't real good at reporting on their surveys. Um, so the uh, overall in 2020, the, uh, according to the FBI statistics, the nationwide murder rate rose 27% the largest increase in over 100 years. Wow. And there again, it's all in the urban areas. Um, let's see, the responsibility, what they're finding is the responsibility falls squarely on, well, okay. The survey showed the, the data, and this is what the findings mean. They didn't actually come out and say this. The responsibility falls squarely on the shoulders of woke politicians Tragically, they ignored the warnings of law enforcement officials and abandoned policies shown to work, replacing them with uh, just being naive and wishful thinking. The results are now clear for all to see. Most people are familiar with the broken windows policing. Right. If small crimes are ignored, big crimes will follow. When this approach was implemented, along with other improved policing techniques and good legislation, violent crime drape, dropped steadily. This was the 1980s and the 90s response Giuliani. to the crime spikes. Exactly. Uh, of the late 60s and 70s, and it succeeded in cutting the nation's murder rate by more than half over the next two decades. We're seeing kind of uh, the that in play now since uh, that New York City AG uh, Twinkies. I can't remember the dude's name. I, I can't remember it either. Uh, but he has, he, when he was running for election, he said he was going to stop having bail and uh, stop prosecuting this list of 10, 15 different crimes. Like and a lot shoplifting, of Shoplifting, yeah, prostitution. Some of them were small crimes. Some of them were violent crimes. So uh, assault was one of the ones. Is that right? Yeah. And so with the studies, of, and I wish I had this graph to show you, but uh, some of the stuff just since he's been in office, broadcasting that and running on that and letting people run through the doors in the front door, out the back door when they get picked yep. up, not getting prosecuted, the crime rates, uh, the... Um, not just the petty crimes and the misdemeanors, but the violent crimes. The murder rate is through the roof in New York. Yep. The uh, rapes and the assaults and the uh, muggings, all that stuff has uh, gone through the roof yep. uh, because of these lax, um, these lax uh, responses to, to crime. Yeah, well, they, they put, you put all these DAs out there that when someone is caught, they release them. The, the no bail, you know, uh, you know, releasing of criminals... Uh, basically, it, it is feeding this cycle. So when people think, is there a crime wave happening? There is, but only in the urban centers. As a national average, we're still not in a bad place. But the problem is, where you, if you live in these urban areas, the crime there is a crime wave that's going on. Right. And it's starting to spill out from those urban areas and to spread. That's right. So. And uh, part of the uh, part of the sad thing is is it's being uh, it's being blind. It's not being broadcast. It's not being uh, the true stats aren't being broadcast out there for the masses to see because it doesn't fit the narrative of of what they would that they want the they want to show the world that their liberal policies work right. and in fact they're not working. So therefore, it takes people like you and me, Craig, to show what's really happening with yep. facts and data as opposed to hyperbole and emotional you know, soapbox yep. speeches. So, I hope you've enjoyed this clip from the Craig's Gun Channel Random Shots program. Uh, the program airs Thursdays at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. On Random Shots, we discuss content from ranging anything from preparedness, uh, survival, politics, uh, firearms, basically anything that's 2A related. Uh, with sometimes some rabbit trails on things that aren't related at all. 
Uh, if you enjoy this type of programming, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified when we release new content. And if you like it, hit the like button and uh, share us if you would as well. It helps the algorithm and helps the channel grow and helps get our message out. So I guess uh, until next time, stay safe.